Hello and welcome to SAP Business Network for Logistics Carrier Integration Tutorial Series. In this video, we will look into the configuration steps necessary to establish P2P integration between the shipper and the carrier. Specifically, we would be looking at this bit where the shipper needs to configure or complete the configuration for P2P connectivity to the carrier in the shipper tenant. As a prerequisite, the carrier that the shipper intends to establish integration connection with should have completed the webhook configuration in their tenant, which is explained in the previous video. So once this is confirmed by the carrier, the shipper then starts to establish the B2B connectivity to complete the setup. This activity is done via Configure Partner Connections application in the shipper portal. Let's have a look. So this is the application which drives B2B connectivity configuration in the shipper portal. And this application is protected by roles. The information about the specific roles for the shipper can be found in the administration guide for shippers in the help portal. So there are two roles that are required to access Configure Partner Connections application and also to manage the configurations. Uh, shippers will have to make sure that these roles are assigned to the user that is going to manage configuration in the shipper portal. So let's access the application. Click on create. This brings up a section with a number of fields. The first one being the business partner ID type. Business partner ID type helps you choose the type of connection that you're establishing. Here we have two broad categories, one for generic connections and then for more specific connections. The generic connections are more suitable for use cases where a network partner is involved. So if, here, if you choose any LBN ID and you choose a network partner such as, uh, let's say, Regards, this is saying that for any LBN ID that is associated with the business partner that is in my orders or bookings, I want uh, this network partner to do either subcontracting or tracking for those orders. The other option is any alternate ID, and uh, this is more suitable, again, for network partners for tracking scenarios. And then in specific, you also have the option to choose specific connection, in which case there are a number of other options, such as SAP Business Partner Number, VAT, GLN, or even SCAC. You know, for, let's say, if you give value like this and say, when you choose uh, SCAC as an option. So this is saying that uh, for for orders or bookings with business partner having this SCAC value, I want the orders to be forwarded to a specific network partner for tracking purposes. The other option is to configure specific B2B uh, connectivity. Uh, so this is suitable for use cases where you have a direct B2B integration uh, connectivity with your specific carrier. So you choose a business partner ID type as LBN ID and you choose the specific carrier LBN ID. So in our case, we want to choose Acmail Logistics, which we used in our previous video to configure webhook. And then we can choose the service depending on the scenario and the scope that you have with the carrier for integration. And depending on what the carrier has configured as a webhook, uh, you get to see these options. Here we can choose freight subcontracting all, and then we can save and activate if that is all that is needed. You can also see a number of additional or optional options. So if for this carrier, you have a network partner involved from whom you would want tracking information, you can also choose the network partner would provide tracking details. And obviously the service would be different. In that case, you would choose tracking as the service and establish that connectivity. There are also instances where business partners or carriers would create specific credentials for each of their customers or shippers, and they would share these credentials with you as a shipper. And you can choose to uh, configure those credentials using the manage credential details option here. Uh, and we support basic or through .o and API key. And once that is configured, you get to choose those credentials uh, here. 
and what that does is that whenever there is an order for this carrier and if the credentials is con are configured we make sure that those credentials are used uh, to forward the order to that uh, carrier to their webhook another additional option is to pass on custom headers so in in a few instances carriers would need more additional information to be passed on to their webhooks and they can uh, leverage the option of custom headers to receive that information so as a prerequisite the carriers would have shared those custom headers with you as a shipper and you can configure those custom headers here along with the connection so custom headers would have a key and a value and you can configure this so what we do is whenever orders are forwarded or bookings are forwarded to this webhook for this carrier we also pass on the custom headers if they are configured so for this video we will use a simple use case we have a specific lbn id for this carrier and for this scenario and we save and activate so that completes b2b integration configuration between the shipper and the carrier thank you